Hey everybody, welcome back, trailer reaction time, and today I've got a trailer I am very excited for. Things just popping up all over. Oh yeah, you know what we're here for, you've read the title, Star Wars Jedi Survivor Official Reveal Trailer. We had a teaser like a, close to a year ago. This saber is very noisy. Um, <laughs> and I am excited. Uh, so, all right, fine, fine, fine. Um, so, <laughs> you know what, let's just get to it. If you want to see this trailer without me and my excitement in the way, there's a link in the description below or something's popping up right about now. You can click on that, check it out, come on back, watch me watch this, and we're going to geek out of it together because you know it's Star Wars. And it's a sequel to Fallen Order, so it's absolutely geek out worthy. Yes, the world is weird, times are tough, things are strange, but you know what? We will get through this. We will get through this together. We like to say that together, mantra style, puts a smile on your face, little chemicals in the brain, power of positive thinking compels you. I know it helps people, they tell me all the time, so I gotta do it. It's a few words, it's so easy for me to make people happy, I should do it. If you hate this, I'm sorry, just skip. All right, let's do it. Say it together. We will get through this. We will get through this together. All right. So that said, I am excited to get into this trailer, but a couple of things. So this is actually my legacy, because some people have some questions about this. Just bear with me. Um, this is the what they call a legacy lightsaber. I bought it out at Galaxy's Edge on our honeymoon. Um, the nice things about these, they are like $200, $220, but um, they come with removable blades. Uh, these are very high-end construction, heavy materials and all of that. And um, you'll notice this one has a little screw bit here. You can actually take this cap off and it has another cap that has like all the exposed wiring before he fixed it in the original game. And the reason I bring all that up is because if you didn't know, Limited Run Games, a company I love, and I've already ordered mine, you better believe it because it is limited edition, so you might want to get on it before they run out. They are putting out a special physical edition of this game where you're going to get the game on your platform of choice, Xbox or PS5. And uh, you get a digital copy if you do PC, but the other two are physical, a steel book, and you're going to get a limited edition Legacy Cal Kestis lightsaber that is look to, it's going to be very similar to this one, but it's actually slightly different. It's the repaired version from this game, and it comes with a cap that will allow you to attach it to this, and you can go double saber. So, and then apparently you can get these saber blades on the Disney store, because I don't know where else sells them. So, um, you know, you're probably going to want that as well. And it's something like $300. Now, keep in mind, these are like $220 already on their own. The game's already going to be like $70. So it's actually a pretty good deal if you're into that. Now, they aren't selling the blades. You will have to get that separate. And these don't come with the blades at Disney either. So I just wanted to throw all that out there. Check out limitedrungames.com. Not sponsored. I just love those guys. I love that they did that. And I'm terribly excited about it. But that said and done, I love that first game. I really just want to play this game for myself. But I know and people want me to, and I will... Uh, when this comes out, we will. I will do a full Let's Play. We'll put out hour-long episodes or whatever. I'll, I'll give you my Let's Play. Um, I'm just excited. So I already got it ordered. I'm just mad it comes out the week before the Resident Evil 4 remake because I want to jump into the Resident Evil 4 remake immediately as well. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe I'll finish Jedi Order in a week. I doubt it. I wouldn't want to rush through it that fast, though. Anyways, that's enough about me. What about you? Let's watch some Star Wars and see if Eric cries. <laughs> Can't wait for the live-action series. Was that confirmed? The view order is gone. I was betrayed by the one I trusted most. I will not be imprisoned again. I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. Our friend here, why his gods are supposed to be dead. Here we go. Woo! Dual wielding, not just double bladed. Oh, he's getting a cross 
Guard. Hope survives. Yo, does a limited run game sort of have the cross guard? I hadn't paid attention. I'm not sure it does. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I pre-ordered my physical copy for PS5, and I'm going to get the digital on Xbox and play that through. Because, like, Star Wars games and Resident Evil games, I buy on every platform and play them on every platform because I love them so much. That looks incredible. Uh, so the things I've heard and saw some of that in there, you can tame beasts and then ride them. You can do different lightsaber stances, which should add to a different type of lightsaber combat, essentially, which is why I'm now wondering, like, he's dual wielding, so it's not always double bladed. We can go dual wield. Plus, he's getting a cross grade, a crossbar upgrade. Seeing part of, like, the Jedi library stacks in a new place wherever... Um, God, I really suck. Like, obviously, I know BD-1, Cal Kestis. I, I'm awful with names, but... Uh, the lady that saved us last time, <laughs> the, the, that used to be on Mad TV. I cannot think of the character name for the life of me. Um, yeah, looks fantastic. And yeah, that just looks awesome. When he's using the freaking trooper as like a shield, just holding them, that is that is the kind, that is what I'm here for. Story looks awesome. Characters look awesome. I know the games. The game, as long as it's as good as the last one, then I mean, you know, even if it's, even if it's just more of the same, it's still going to be a great time. And then if they actually do deliver something even more and better on top of that, Awesomer, even more awesomest, awesomer -est -est -est. Let's just make up all the words because that that's deserving of new descriptors because <laughs> that just looks so good. And I mean, March is not that far away. I guess we're about we're a little over three months as of the time of me filming this. So we're gonna be eating good. They're also gonna get Mando that month. So I think it's like in 2019 is when Mandalorian started. So again, we're getting a season of Mando with Mandalorians and with lots of Mandalorians. And now we're gonna get Cal Kestis and some Mando looking characters in there. But I don't know if it's I do wonder if there's going to be a crossover of any kind. Also, did, was it ever confirmed? I know they talked about a Cal Kestis show. Is that actually happening? And this is supposed to be like five years after the last game too. So uh, I guess, what is this? Around the time of Solo or Kenobi? How long was this? So we're probably about 10 minute, ten years in. So I guess is this Kenobi then? Kenobi era? Um, I don't know. I, I, I need a new timeline breakdown. <laughs> but obviously I'm excited. Like I said, I got my physical pre-order in. And I will getting, be getting a, a, a digital as well. Uh, because honestly, Xbox, I don't know. I, I, I like having physical games, so I know I always have it to go play. Of course, we live in the era with a lot of these games. You buy them physical, it doesn't matter. You still have to download half of it. But uh, Xbox is pretty good with their uh, digital uh, ecosystem. I haven't played with the PlayStation's digital ecosystem too much because I don't know how easy it is to jump from console to console. But like my Xbox, I can play a game in here. I can go into my bedroom, pick it right up. I can go down to the living room, pick it right up. You know, uh, I really appreciate that. But anyways too much what do y'all think are you excited for what do you want to see what was your favorite part of the first game Ooh, i think it was saw i think it was that that yeah um um that was just such a cool surprise sorry that i may have ruined it if you haven't played the first game but why are you watching the trailer if you're watching the trailer for the second game you don't mind spoilers for the first game i'm gonna think of it like that um <laughs> But uh, yeah, let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And of course, remember that we will get through this. We will get through this together. All right, well, I make music. You can check out my music anywhere you listen to music. Just look up Eric Butts wherever you'd like and, uh, you know, try a song or two. See what you think. Uh, maybe you'll have a good time. And if so, you can get excited about the new music I got coming out. Also, I'm going to be making some short films next year. And... Um, if you want to check out some of my previous filmmaking work, you can go to ericbutts.com, out of sight, out of date website that I need to fix up someday. And of course, there's lots more content and ways to support the channel with the links in the description below. So click that see more button to see more butts. And on that note, I'm gonna get out of here. That one shot, by the way, when he's clashing sabers with somebody in a mask, they have the same like saber design. So I don't know if they took one of his sabers or what, but but very, very cool stuff. And um, the only thing. I like about the build of sabers out at Galaxy's Edge. You can change your Kyber crystal. Uh, you can't with these. That's a bummer, but because I would like to make his blades more the colors I like to play with. But you ready to Star Wars kid this? Also, I have one of the mildly shorter blades in here. I think he usually has a longer. Anyways, you know, Cal Kestis is long, baby. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, I ruined it. I ruined it. It was so wholesome until then. All right, I'm going to get out of here so I can go watch some more stuff and get excited for that game, play with some more lightsabers, and I'll see you all later. May the Force be with you, always. <laughs>